Welcome back to it, your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on a beautiful Wednesday morning. Thank you very much for choosing to wake up with us this morning. It's time to go to Tinseltown. Yes, indeed. Yep. Zoe Brown is behind the scenes, and this is of one of the most loved soapies in South Africa, Siam and Delight. Thank you, Expresso family. It is so great to be with you today, even though I am in Johannesburg. And I'm not just anywhere. I'm on the set of Seven Delon. We are in the newly renovated Hillside Clinic. And can I just say, growing up watching Seven Delon, it's been amazing to see all of the different spaces. And today I get to bring you behind the scenes where we really just get to know the, per the people behind the characters. So let me introduce you to our first guest, Dirk Stoltz, better known as David Basson, on Seven Delon. Good morning. Good morning, please. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, well, you know what? It's so nice for us to be here today and also a very special celebration. I mean, Seven Alarm recently airing its 5,000. 5,000, can you believe episode? it? Eh? Yeah. That is 20 years. 20 years. Mm. Now, your character is rather on the newer side. Mm -hmm. When you auditioned to be Devet, what was that initial character process like for you? Could you connect with the villain immediately or did you feel like you had to get used to it? Yeah, you see, there was a bit of a twist in the whole time because I was here 15 years ago, as also as a bad guy. And uh, so when they auditioned for this spot, it was a completely new character. But then they realized after they cast me that I've been here before. So they had, they had to try and merge the, you know, the timeline. So from that perspective, it was, it was quite, quite difficult to try and get a continuity from 15 years ago to where we are today. Okay. Mm. And then in terms of, I mean, we are in the hospital scene right now. How mm. often would you visit or be part of this set? It depends on who did what to me. <laughs> yes. Is that how you end up here? That's how I end up here, yeah. <laughs> I don't come here too often. <laughs> and then in terms of your personality, mm. I mean, how much more different are you to Devet? <laughs> <laughs> People always ask you that. Uh, I think that everybody's got some bad in them, and, and most people have got good in them. So uh, I'm quite different from this. You know, I'm, uh, I'm a family man myself, and uh, he's also a big, he's, big, he's big on family. But when it comes to doing things to people, I think I'm very different to that. Yeah, I'm more of a background guy, you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, since you are a bit more of a background guy, mm -hmm. I have to ask you this now in terms of getting into that headspace, into your character. Is there a bit of a process involved or oh. is it quite you just switch on the minute you're in your outfit? No, there's definitely a process involved because we've got, we've, got we've got quite a machine going here. So there's, there's, there's a lot of scenes we do in a day. So when you come, you come prepared. So when you prepare at home, you, 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 you kind of get into character already at home. And you come here and you just walk on. Because if, <laughs> if you don't follow the process, no one can just walk in here and do it. Well, I can't, you know, it's, 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 it's quite a process. And it takes a while, for me at least, because I'm not 20 anymore. So I need to prepare well. Okay, well, that's amazing to know that, you that, you know, preparation is key. Mm. And then you do say that you guys are block filming a yes. bunch of episodes. Yes. Now, are you allowed to give us any teasers of what our viewers can expect from Devet? Are you allowed to? No. No, okay. No. But what I can tell you is <laughs> some thing is going to happen that's going to blow people's minds and they're not going to expect that. Not from the vet and what happens to the vet as well. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. So if I was you, I would keep on watching. Oh, definitely keep mm. on watching. I mean, Sivan Delan has been keeping South African audiences captivated for close to 20 years, going into Can 21 years. It, 20, that is eh? amazing. It's about our age. Oh, it yeah. is, yeah. So, although this is the 22nd, well, this is the 21st year of filming. You yes. guys have just surpassed your 5,000th episode, which is amazing. Now, it's always been a dream of mine to try acting. Oh, and really? I if you are able to just give me a little bit of a hint on if we had to make an impromptu scene of okay. you being in the hospital in the but you know, if I look at your hair you look like a like a Connie to me a Connie so okay I would love how, to be Connie how would you like to be Connie for the day I so love I can speak Afrikaans with your brat well this is your choice this will you do it in Afrikaans or Engels do this oh do them a bit in Afrikaans yeah because it's Afrikaans but it's seven the line okay so what happens okay you are there you are behind your counter the vet comes in and stop he looks a bit around and André was, he was so pass, was he a part of a court case geweest, and the vet was going to tell him his best friend to be, but the vet was a bit in the rug gestek. Okay, met Marianne. You know what I'm going to say, met Marianne. Oh. Okay. okay, good, and here come I. Can I help? No, no, I look a bit around. And I'll stop you later. Ik heb jou en Marianne. Ek het nie gewet jylle sikke boesem vriende nie. Ek het gesien op die internet. 
Ek gee om vir Marian. Dit wat jy wil hoor. En die hoofdzaak? Ons is vriende. En dat sy verdwijn. Sy antwoord nie aan voor nie, vir kan nie sê, sy het ouwe jaars aan verdwijn en... Niemand weet waar sy is nie. Gaan jy haar soek? Wat? Ons weet nog nie of sy self verdwijn het nie. En nie, wel man sê nie, woord nie. Ek kreeg gevoel dat hulle steek iets weg. Of wat denk jy is sy? Ek weet nie. See, that's how you improv. Wow! I tried, I tried. Nee, nee, los hierdie job, los hierdie job. Come here. Oh, David. Well, I just am calling you David, and I think that is something a lot of people do, Dirk. They yes, call you by do. your character. Yeah. Um, lastly, just to say thank you for having us on set today. Uh, what thanks. was it? What did it mean for you to be part of the 5,000th episode? Ah, it's the best, the best. You know, I picked the right time to come back, eh? You definitely do it. You definitely <laughs> Thanks did. Thanks very much. Uh, Thanks very much. You're amazing. All the best with today's filming. And stick around to your Feel Good Breakfast show because we have more set visits to do. And that's going up, coming up in a little bit. And, of course, key stay tuned to Seven Delan, which you can catch every weeknight on SABC2 at 6 p.m.